gangrene. The silent killer you must never ignore. Beware, gangrene. A silent destroyer, lurking in the shadows of wounds and infections. What starts as a minor cut could spiral into a life-threatening nightmare if ignored. This isn't just a medical condition. It's a race against time. Gangrene occurs when blood flow to a part of your body is cut off, starving the tissues of oxygen and nutrients. Without immediate intervention, the tissues begin to die. The results are horrific. Skin turns black, green, or purple, releasing a foul odor, a clear sign that decay has taken over. There are two primary types. Dry gangrene, a slow and agonizing death of tissues, often due to diabetes or poor circulation. It begins subtly with numbness, but soon the affected area shrivels and blackens. Wet gangrene, a more vicious killer, usually caused by infection, swelling, pus, and an overwhelming stench mark its presence. If untreated, bacteria release deadly toxins into the bloodstream, leading to septic shock, a fatal collapse of the body's defenses. But beware the most terrifying form, gas gangrene. This rare type spreads like wildfire under your skin, producing toxic gases that make your flesh bubble and crackle. Survival requires drastic measures, often amputation. Gangrene doesn't strike randomly. It thrives on negligence, untreated injuries or burns, frostbite from extreme cold, chronic diseases like diabetes, which silently reduce blood flow to your extremities, smoking and obesity, which choke your arteries. Even a minor infection can become deadly if bacteria invade deep tissues. Gangrene sends unmistakable signals, a sudden loss of sensation in your fingers, toes, or limbs, skin discoloration, red, purple, black, or even green, intense pain, followed by eerie numbness, a foul-smelling discharge that hints at rotting flesh. Ignore these signs, and the clock ticks closer to disaster. The battle against gangrene is brutal. Time is the enemy. Antibiotics are your first defense, but they only work if caught early. For wet or gas gangrene debridement, cutting away dead tissue is necessary. In extreme cases, surgeons have no choice but to amputate to save your life. Advanced therapies like hyperbaric oxygen treatment can sometimes reverse the damage, but they aren't always available.